have several dogs. And I've got to tell you right now, I've got one that absolutely is just a little bit. She's one of those that takes off out the door if she gets an opportunity. So you're walking to the door doing all your kung fu moves and get back, get back. We have like a broom at the front door. Get back, get back. Still, man, she's little. She's a doxa chi, which is part dachshund and something else. I don't know. And anyway, she gets her opportunity and she's gone. And she'll get so far and then she'll stop. And you're like, come here, come here, come here, come here. And you'll start walking to her and you get almost to her and she's gone again. So you spend half your freaking morning or whatever time this happens, which tended to be the other morning, which was why it's fresh in my mind. She just runs, and I'm to the point I'm done. I'm not going to chase her anymore. I'm just going to see if she finds her way home. I don't know if she will. She's a little bit dumb, you know? And she fits perfectly well with our other dogs. Every one of our dogs have an issue. Every one of our dogs, um, I, oh, I guess it's character. My dog is um, a small little terrier, and she is a lesbian. Her name is Navi, which is after some Zelda character. My kids name everything after some something to do with a video game or some bullcorn crap. Anyway, she um everything that comes in the house she has to sniff it, lick it, and fuck it. Um she will hump it all the way across the house and she doesn't care if it's bigger than her or smaller than her, if it's a puppy, if it's if it's a you know, full grown dog. She just does her thing. And and she's aggravating because she she not not knots everything with her nose constantly everything with her nose um and it's horrible and then we've got a little black dog who loves to chase dots so my daughter has a laser pointer that she'll look around um, on the floor and he'll chase it and and if you want to keep him entertained or if you want to get him out of your hair you just say hero look for the dot look for the dot and you can have anything in your hand it can be the remote control to the television and you shine it over on the floor point it over on the floor and he will run over there and stand on the floor looking for the dot you know and i mean it will keep him entertained for 45 minutes it's it's absurd. And then we have one dog who weighs about 75 pounds who thinks he's about the size of the Doxa Chi, which, which is, what, five pounds? It's a little, little bitty. He has no respect for personal space. Um, he just bullcorns through. Um, loves stuffed animals. Just loves them. Loves to throw them. Loves to catch them. Walk around with them. Show them off. I mean, he's so proud. Um, and, and keeps them in a pile. And then we have a Rhodesian Ridgeback which um, is a big, huge dog that has a mohawk down its back, which is really kind of cool, and he's red. Um, he looks just like Marmaduke to me, and he ain't nothing but a lover. He don't do nothing but lay around. He's gotten old. I mean, he's like eight, nine years old now, and just laying around getting fat. So then we got a couple of cats, but so we'll talk about them later. Anyway, one, I swear to God, is having flashbacks of something evil because she just runs through darting and looking. But we'll talk about her later. I'm almost out of tape. Hope you enjoyed that little tidbit. Thank you for checking in. Peace.